Hello guys and welcome to Python programming tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about number patterns. So here we have three number patterns. Today we will see how to get numbers in this pattern. So first we will discuss about the first pattern. So here we can see we are printing the numbers in the right triangle shape. So for this first in the python file we'll ask the user to enter the input we'll ask the user for the number of rows to take the input from the user i'll use input function and num is the variable which will store the user entered input and we are using python 3 because of that input function will take input as string value but here we want number of rows integer value that's why i used int function to convert the string input to integer input next here we can see we are printing numbers in different row and column so for that we need nested loops and here we are using nested for loop and first we are writing the for loop for the row inside that we are writing the for loop for column that is because this pattern work like this at row 0 column 0 it will print that and at row 1 and column 0 it will print that next at row 1 column 1 it will print this value okay it will work like this first at the row and it will check for every column so that's why outside for loop will be for row and inside for loop will be for column so here i'll take the for loop for row here i need to mention how many rows i want i want num rows right here we are asking the user to enter the number of rows so that means we want num rows and here i'm taking the range from zero to num so row will be begin from zero next i'll take the for loop for column so let's see how many columns we want in each row in the first row i want one column that is column zero and at row one i need two column at row two i need three column at row three we need four column right this is i and j i for row j for column so that is nothing but when i is zero we want one column so that is nothing but i plus one column for each row i want i plus one column then here i want to print that number so here we can see our pattern begins with a number called one 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 right so i need to take this number in a variable and here we can see in each row the zeroth column contains the value as one 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 that is nothing but i need to take my value in the row for loop and need to take it as one 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 i'll take a variable name as k and i will store one 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 in the variable k i'm taking this inside the for loop for row because every row begins with this value that's why i took this value inside the for loop for row and here i'll take print the value of k and i'll take end as empty string to keep the control in the same line next to print the next value in the row so here after printing 111 there is no value to print it will go to row 1 and after printing 111 i need to print 222 what is 222 111 plus 111 is nothing but 222 right here 222 plus 111 is nothing but 333 right if i add the value 111 to the previous value we will get this value next values right so i'll take k is equal to k plus 111 next here i'll use a print function this is for the new line after each row we want new line that's why i'm using this print function so now if i save this and execute this program if i enter 4 so we are getting the output but here we can see there is no space between them so first we need to format the output so for that i'll use format function and I'll give space 4. I already made a video on this format function and how it works. So I will give you the link of that in the description box. You can go and check that. Now if I execute this, if I give 4, here we can see 111, 222 like this. So here first we need to take k here in the for loop and here we need to increment k value to print the next value in the row. If I take k outside the for loop, what will happen? I'll get different pattern 
so here i'll take number of rows as 5 right here we can see we are getting different pattern it will continue the value if you want you can give more space here like this 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 5 5 5 we'll get different pattern for our pattern we need to place this inside this for loop all right so we are done with the first pattern next we want to print this pattern pattern 1 and pattern 2 are similar but in the pattern 2 first we want space here we want to print space and next the pattern so to print this space we need to take another for loop first we are printing space next value we need to take the for loop for space before the for loop for value that is nothing but before taking this for loop i need to take another for loop for space i can take the same variable name j next here i need to mention how many space i want to print here we can see when row is equal to 0 i want 3 space when row is equal to 1 i want 2 space when row is equal to 2 i want 1 space and when row is equal to 3 i want 0 space when number of row is 4 we already saw how to print star instead of number how to print star in this shape so in that i used a formula as num minus i minus 1 so num is nothing but 4 i is nothing but this value row value so 4 minus 0 is 4 and minus 1 so we'll get 3 space 4 minus i minus 1 4 i value is 1 minus 1 so we'll get 2 4 minus i minus 1 4 minus 2 minus 1 so we'll get 1 space okay so it will work for this pattern so i need to take here num minus i minus 1 space I want this space and here I need to print space and is equal to empty string and in this type of pattern program if we are formatting the output then we need to use format here also so that's why format and you need to give same amount of space right now if I save this and run this I'll use 4 here we can see our pattern now it will print space first followed by the value so we didn't change much in our program we just used a for loop to print the space before the value okay so this is about the second pattern next let's move on to the third pattern the second pattern and third pattern are somewhat same right we are printing space next value but the problem is here we can see we are printing 111 first next 222 but here we need 222 first next 111 here we can see the difference right it is in the ascending order it is in the descending order values so how to change our program to print this output so for this i need to take k value as k multiply i plus 1 another formula why here we can see first we want to print 111 right k will hold this value 111 so it is at row 0 so if i multiply this 0 plus 1 okay i plus 1 the formula k multiply i plus 1 right so we'll get 111 so it will print 111 here here k value is 111 multiply i value is 1 plus 1 so we'll get 2 so we'll get 222 two, two. after that to print this 111 the next value because we are decrementing the value here we need to minus the value after printing 222 two, two, we need to minus 111 from that to print 111 we are changing the k value outside this for loop and now if i execute this for here we can see the difference so we used this formula because when writing at row 0 initially k value will be 111 multiply i value will be 0 plus 1 so we'll get 111 so it will print this number next move on to the row 1 right in the row 1 first we want to print 222 that time row value will be 1 so 1 plus 1 it will become 2 2 multiply 1 1 1 is nothing but we'll get 2 2 2 so it will print that value k value 
after that we'll decrement the k value that is nothing but we'll subtract 111 from the k here we can see right so k value becomes 111 it will again go to this for loop and it will print that value so we'll get 111 after that it will come out of this for loop and the control goes to the for loop for row so again k becomes 111 and it will execute this formula so here row is 2 so 2 plus 1 3 3 into 111 so we'll get 333 first so we'll get 333 after that we'll decrement 111 from this so we'll get 222 okay in this way this program works so in this video we used few formulas like k equal to k multiply i plus 1 or num minus i minus 1 these are the situational formulas okay it will work when we take a range like this you can modify this program and you can write this program in some other way also so please do try that so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care